Hey everyone, welcome back to Liz Fenwick DIY. Today I have three trash to treasure projects to share with you. And as a bonus, we're also doing a giveaway. So if you guys have been watching me for a while, you may have seen this purple piece that I did in a trash to treasure. I don't know if it was in the fall, it was definitely several months ago, but I bought this piece at the thrift store and I spray painted it purple. Well, I needed a little bit of an update because I'm putting it into a new space. So for this project, I picked up some napkins from Tuesday morning. The reason I went there is because they kind of have a wide selection of napkins that I think work really well for home decor. But you could probably grab this style of napkins at a lot of different places. So what I'm going to be doing is Mod Podging with these decorative napkins. So to do that, take out one napkin, and what you wanna do is you want to pull off the backing pieces on the back. Now, the napkins I'm using have two backing pieces, so I'm gonna pull those both off. Some napkins have more, it's just going to depend, but you just want that one top thin layer to Mod Podge. I'm gonna start on one side and I'm just going to trim the napkin down so it fits on to my container, trying to make sure I put the napkin where I want the design. Once I have it trimmed down to size, I'm gonna use some Mod Podge on the wood and then press the napkin in place. You can trim off any excess and then Mod Podge the rest of it down to the side. And then I'll repeat those same steps on the back side of this piece. So now the sides are going to be a little bit trickier, but it's so easy. So put your napkin down on the side and roughly cut around the side piece so you get a general outline of your side. Next, I'm going to come back in and Mod Podge the wood, adding the napkin on the top. Once you press the napkin in place, what I'm going to be doing to take off the excess napkin is just rubbing on the edges and pulling off any excess napkin. I'll repeat those steps on the other side of my container. From there, you wanna let this dry completely before you add on the top layer. That'll really cut down on the paper bubbling. So once you've given it several hours to dry, come back in and do a top layer of Mod Podge on the whole entire piece. And once that has a chance to dry, I think this would be so great in a little girl's room for pencils. You could also use it for napkins, forks, spoons, if you're having a party. And this is how it looks. Those containers are super easy to find at the thrift store, so I hope you have some luck in finding one. Okay guys, let's take a short break from our project so that I can share with you our giveaway. So my friends over at Glam Sockets sent me two of their most popular designs to give away to you guys. So the two that I'm giving away are Abstract Vine, and I'm also giving away Versailles. And if you guys have been with me for a while, you guys know I love Glam Sockets and have them on my channel all the time. They are a great company. They're so sweet and friendly and I just love working with them. 
But glam sockets, if you're not familiar with them, they are so awesome. I have two of them in my house, and what they are is they're basically just a plug-in system that you can plug into any standardized outlet. They have two USB ports and then they also have a place on top where you can put your phone. I love these. I think they make the perfect gift for anyone. I was thinking, you know, like a college student who's going away. You could also give these for a wedding because they're something that everybody needs, but they're just a little bit more fancy and I think such a fun gift. So if you would like to win one of these two glam sockets, I'm going to give one away on YouTube and one away on Instagram. Instagram. If you'd like to win the one on YouTube, just make sure you're a subscriber to Liz Fenwick DIY and leave me a comment below and let me know your idea for any video you'd like to see on my channel. It could be something I'm already doing or if you have a suggestion for me, just leave it in the comments below and that'll be your entry into the giveaway. And then there also will be a giveaway for one over on Instagram. So go follow me at Liz Fenwick DIY and there'll be a picture of me holding this up up like this just go and leave me a comment and let me know you're following me over on Instagram okay our next DIY I got a great deal on these if you guys follow any of my hauls you may have seen these but I picked up these corbels at the thrift store for 50 cents each I thought that was a great deal seeing how I just grabbed some from Hobby Lobby even on clearance they were around nine dollars so since these were raw wood, I wanted to add some other colors underneath so that when I sanded them, I would have some different colors coming through. So I just took some white and gray acrylic paint and I'm just going to loosely put that paint in the areas that I will later go back off and sand. Next, I added one coat of Moss by Waverly to all of the corbels, making sure that I got the back side because you will be able to see these when they're sitting out. Once that had a chance to dry, I took them outside and de-stressed them by using my electrical sander. Next, I came back inside and added a clear coat of Annie Sloan Clear Wax. To do that, I just took a, a towel, put it in the wax and wiped it onto my piece, making a super thin layer. And then I let that dry completely and then put them out in my decor. So our next idea kind of just came to me when I was in the thrift store. So I found this set of spindles and I got eight of them for $1.50 because you guys know that I shop on half price day. And it made me think of those really cool railings and spindles that I'll see on Instagram that are super old um, that I can never find when I'm in stores or if I find them, they're like really expensive. So I thought I would try to make one for myself. So I have these eight spindles and then I'm also going to be using these thankful and blessed signs that I grabbed at Dollar Tree and they're just long pieces of wood. So I'm going to be using my measuring mat so I make sure that I put these even. So the first thing I'm gonna do is do a bead of E6000 glue along the whole entire top side of one of my boards. Next, I'm going to come in and every two inches, I'm going to hot glue and push the spindles up to that E6000 so that I will have the hot glue and E6000 helping to hold it in place. Mm -hmm. 
and then I'm going to repeat the same on the bottom. I'm going to be putting E6000 along the bottom board as well as hot glue and holding them in place. Let this completely dry overnight before you do anything else to it. Then I'm going to take it outside and spray paint it with white on both the front and the back side. I had to distress this a little bit, but with spray paint, you can't really be wet distressing it. So what I did was I took two colors. I took a brown and a gray, and I lightly put just so little bit of paint on there. Then I took a dry rag and just wiped it off so that you could barely see any brush strokes. I just wanted a little bit of hint of color on there. And once I achieved my desired look, I put it out in my decor. All right, you guys, I hope you enter our giveaway below for that glam socket, and I will leave all the information in the description box if you're interested in finding out more about glam sockets and using them as gifts. And if you're new to my channel, make sure to subscribe, that way you're entered into the giveaway. And also, if you'd like to see our last DIY that I did, I'm gonna link it right here. You just click on that button and go watch that video, and I'll talk to you guys in our next DIY. Bye.